80, Marcus Simeon. The pitch. That Ball. just misses. Oh. And here we go with game two. They say you win. 1-1. One, one. Wouldn't chase that time. Just the third one. pitch of the night and already a little question on the strike zone of the umpire in this one. This one in the air right field. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. So now it's Corey Seager. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the oh. afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Swing and a miss, one and a one count strike. one and one. One down, base is empty. Ball. Two ball, two strike. Goes down looking. Now it's Robbie Grossman. In there, and it's on one. Right, he delivers. Ball one oh. there. And downstairs. Kicks and fires. 3 2 oh, now. Yeah. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And there's That's ball, ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put them away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. And now, Adolis Garcia. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Pickoff move to first. Grossman leads off first with two down to the inning. In the air, left side. A Rosarena moving under it. Brings it in for the third out. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. The the first baseman. Chris won dubious Yandy. note on Evaldi. May 18, 2022. He matched a big league record, gave up five homers in an inning oh. against the Astros. Alvarez, Tucker, Pena, Brantley, and Guriel all took a beat. The wind of the pitch. Ball. Good eye right there. That one finds the zone, and it's three and two. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. High fly ball out towards left field. Carter going back. 
Back some more. Bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab. Well, that's a great effort just to get to that one and an even better one to take on the wall and hang on to the baseball for the out. Randy or Rosarena at the plate and takes high there. The next pitch misses. Ball two. Way high. And he walked him. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so much for that. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. One gone runner at first. Harold Ramirez at the dish. And that's in there for strike one. Chris, you know, you look at Nathan Evaldi's resume. He won the World Series with the Red Sox in 2018, but he was actually originally drafted by the Dodgers back in 2008. He was an 11th round pick. Checks over to first, back safely. Always known for that power fastball, but interesting, he didn't get a whole lot of swing and miss with it early on. He got better with that stuff as his career progressed. If you talk about that World Series in 2018, he was absolutely fantastic out of the bullpen. Next offering misses, and the count is one and two. Next one is off the plate. The count now two and two. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Isaac Brady's now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Not Two close one. with that one. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch. Jack swing went around. And now two and two. Popped up. Drops into the glove. And that will end the inning. Back here at Tropicana Field. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman. Nathaniel Lowe. Adam back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. Out towards right center field. Margot settles under it. Pulls it in and there's one away. Now the catcher for the Rangers. Jonah Heim. In there for strike one. No score here in the second. Next pitch misses. And the count even one and one. Right hander kicks deals. Hot shot to third. Paredes fires over to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Here's Leody Tavares. Leone Tavera. Out to short. Walls throws to first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan Aranda. The second baseman, Jonathan. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. One up, one down. Manuel Margot up to the plate. The right field. 
And takes low for ball one. Don't strike right there. The wind and the pitch. And that one in the air center field. Tavares pulls it down. And there's two down. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. That's hard hit on the line. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning, here's the rookie third baseman, Josh Young. And a pitch. Young getting the start at the hot corner, 25 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2019. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. The pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Love how he became a really tough out yeah. with two strikes right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Evan Carter up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. The 1 1. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is even 2 and 2. Just off the outside edge. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And that's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. We get bat right here with an opportunity to do damage, but on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout. That could get the inning back under control on the mound. Next pitch is outside, and yeah, that's ball two. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate. Oh, this ball's down, and that could bring in a run. Run scores easily, and the Rangers strike first. It's 1-0. Comes through with the RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Seeger stands in now. Hard ground ball, base knock. 
Headed for the play. Here's the throw. Runner from second crosses the play. And they take a two-run lead. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. But didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. And now Robbie Grossman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a good eye there. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he left that change up, up. Got away with one there. And he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Popped up. Paredes moving under it. And it's caught for the out. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. He's over one. Garcia. Check swing went around. It's 0 and 1. That's a base hit as a run scores. Everything came together for him. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. In there, and it's 0-1. And a foul ball. the string with the changeup struck him out. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. First pitch just misses. Seeger at second, Garcia at first, two out of the inning. Next one misses, and it's 2-0. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. That one's in there. Now two balls and a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. 3-1. Kicks and deals. This to center field. Siri in position. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. And now, Jose Siri. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. That's the third, and that's just foul. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Swings and misses struck him out. Now up for Tampa Bay, Rene Pinto. First offering misses the mark. And the 1 0. And ball another two. ball. Two O's to count. Misses no. with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. But he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first.
Diaz. In his fifth season, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was born in Cuba. And he'll one. Into center. Tavares settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two outs. Now it's Randy no, Arozarena. No left field. A Rosarena goes 5 feet 11 inches, 185 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. There's a strike. That's in there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And the right hander deals. And that's down it away. It's a good take. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Garcia makes the catch. And that is that. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's a speed threat, Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares. Adam back to work. Strike one. That's through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Got him swinging. Now on the mound for the Rays, Kevin Kelly. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left there. Young in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, strike one. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. You clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2 0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. 2 2 now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two away down. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. A walk and a run scored his first time. That one's in there, and that's strike one. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Comes up Come empty on, on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. And now Let's one go. and two. And a ball and two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left-hand hitter waits. Pitch in the dirt, and it's two and two. Bounced out to short. Walls. Whips it to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Fourth. Now it's the DH, Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez. The why to kick the pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Next to hit, Isaac Paredes. That one's in there, 0 and 1. No ball. What's right?
just no. off the inside edge. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. One, two now. And the one, two misses to even the count. Two, two. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Jonathan Aranda digs in now. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to third his first time up. And that's in there for strike one. And he takes a strike. The pitch. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Here's Manuel Margot. 0 for 1 with a fly out. In there for strike one. Ramirez, the runner at first with two gone. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Walls at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. He's 0 for 1. The 1 0. A little bit low. There's a strike. Runners on first and third, two away. Pitch misses there. They're now three in a row. In there at the knees. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Righty delivers. Got him looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Now in Tampa Bay, here is Marcus Simeon. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And he deals. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Chris Marcus Simeon, Bay Area guy, played his college ball at Cal. White Sox selected him in the sixth round in 2011, and he has developed into a fine player. Yeah, and he comes from a really good athletic line. His dad played football at Cal. His mom was also an athlete in college, and this guy is just a really good leader on a ball club. Had a breakout to his career when he went to Toronto and started hitting home runs left and right. Seeger stands in now and watches strike one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And here is Robbie Grossman. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. That's a strike across the top of the zone. One one. Right-handed reliever. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. 
He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now, Adolis Garcia. Check swing, oh. but he went too far. 0-1. Swing and a miss, okay. and that's strike two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs. Just missed. Grossman off the of first with two away. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses, and the count's full. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Sit yeah. down on strikes. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Back here at Tropicana Field, bottom of the inning, and now it's Jose Siri. The right-hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Well, these Rays just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Back to the mound. And he'll be safe at first. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now the batter now, Rene Pinto. And the first oh. offering is not close. Ivaldi checks the runner. Siri gets back easily. The pitch. That's in there, and it's one and one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. At the belt and fires. Gets the call. That is strike two. Establishing both ends of the zone is critical. Most times guys are wanting to get hitters out down, but if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's going to make that strike zone a lot bigger. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Run around the goal. They pitch out. Throw to second. Ow! Just a weak fly ball this time. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. The first base is. Low. 27 years old, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Kelly back to work. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Strike two. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. There's a line drive to left field. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. I'll tell you, 
Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. The 1-0. -oh. And it's fouled away. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swung on. Popped up. Left side. Walls brings it in. And there's one down. Laoti Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. Struck out on just three pitches last time. First pitch and he just misses. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And the pitch. No. Low at first, one gone. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in, you see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. and misses it's a strikeout here's Josh Young one for two in there and it's 0-1 one strike swing and a line drive slicing into right field no trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in, Randy Arozarena. The line of the pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Oh, and two now. Swing and a ball popped up. Simeon toss over to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now here is Harold Ramirez. Flips the corner. That's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The 1-1. One -one. And now the count, 1-2 and two after the swing and the miss. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see... A lot of guys That's out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. On the ground to the left. Throws to first. Two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball now out of the down. air. Good. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Whoa, Up the middle, Seeger. In plenty of time to first. That's the third out. Jalen Beeks on a pitch out of the pen here. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing team did that to me. Now the left fielder, Evan Carter. And a pitch. There's a strike. Well, these Rangers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Up 
the middle. And it gets by him. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle, didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in safely. The 01. Snap throw to first. Carter back easily. And he dodges that fastball. And it's even up. And the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Simeon down on strikes. Now it's Corey Seeger, one for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Carter leads off first with one away. They say he went. One ball, two strikes. And a ball oh. evens the count. Oh. He goes down oh. looking. On the mound now, Chris Davinsky. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. That hits the dirt. 1 and 0. Oh. And delivers oh, outside. The next pitch oh. misses all three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Garcia at the plate now. That's ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. That's in there. And the count one and one. Two on, two outs. Line to left. And makes the grab. And that is the inning. Set for the last half of the seventh, and stepping in for the Rays, Jonathan Aranda. And the right hander back to work. That one Yo, missed. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. That fires up the home crowd, and they close the gap. It's 3-1. Manuel Margot next to hit for the Rays. Oh, one. Oh, we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The wind of the pitch. 
On the ground to third. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Taylor Wall next to hit for the Rays. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Top of the zone for a called strike. Gets under and pops it up. Simeon racing over to make the catch. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. That one ripped way back there. Bangs off the wall. And he's got a double. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. A strikeout and a walk. Ivaldi checks the runner. Siri back on a dive. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Colin Poche. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. So digging in, Nathaniel Lowe. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Here comes a pitch. Hammered down the right side, but foul. And Poche ready to work. One more. And now it's even up. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now at the plate, Jonah Heim. The catch at number 28, Jonah Heim. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one in there across the letters. Next oh. offering is down low. And it's one and two. The pitch. That one oh. inside. Two balls, two strikes. Started after it, appeal to first. No swear. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Leody Taveras stepping in for the Rangers. A switch hitter batting right. Flips the corner. Strike one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's in the dirt. That's off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Diaz makes the grab. That is the inning. 
Jose Leclerc gets the call from the pen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The pitch. Diaz stands in here, takes ball one low. And now two and nothing. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. 2-0. Just missed. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. There's a strike. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Right-hander kicks, deals. Diaz gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Fights it off. You'll see another. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The tying run at the plate. Got him. And now one away. Yeah, the batter now, Harold Ramirez. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. That one missing inside. One ball, no strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. And there's a ball. And ball four to a board. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Now a move being made at second base. And on to pinch run for the Rays. Luke Rayleigh. One down. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And this is inside. One out. Runners at first and second. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. On the ground right side. And the righty deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Ripped into right center. Should be extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. Another comes in to score. It's 3-3. Three, three. Got to be feeling great about that double. Big spot, and he drives in, too. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Brock Burke comes on now. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Strike two. Oh, two. That one ninety five to finish him off. 
So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. The right field, number 13. Edgar. Margot. In there at the knees, it's 0-1. He swings and fouls one off. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. The next offering misses. And a count one and two. Base hit. Here comes the runner. The throw home. The run comes in to score from second. It's 4-3. Raleigh gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now it's going to be Taylor Walls. That's in there. That's strike one. And a pitch. There's a strike. Margot leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering oh. misses. And a count one and two. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze it. Over to first, and he saved. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So coming into the game now on defense, Luke Rayleigh. He takes over as the new first baseman. Now a new pitcher for the Rays, Pete Fairbanks. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And he deals. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Now, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Strike two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. Just missed. Facing a closer that delivers big time velocity. Well, normally against a big arm with this kind of velocity, you look for the ball down because the fastball up is a little hard to catch up to. But he's shown really good plate discipline by not offering at that last pitch down. Next one off the plate inside. Three and oh. And that's in for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Siri pulls it down and there are two away. So the Rangers batting order turns over. So next to hit for Texas, Marcus Simeon. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Fairbanks, 29 years old, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2015. To third. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Rays, even this series, up in a game apiece. So, Chris, here's a look.